Hi, I'm Olivia with Running Shoes Guru and I'm here to talk to you today about the ASICS Glide Ride 2. The ASICS Glide Ride 2 is a shoe designed to make running feel easier. ASICS uses a reinforced plate in the midsole to achieve this feeling. You will find this in the ASICS Guide Sole technology. ASICS states that the Glide Ride 2 is scientifically proven to save energy over the long run by reducing energy through the phases of the gait cycle from foot strike to toe off. This running shoe can help you cover greater distances. It has an aggressive toe spring in the forefoot, which allows for a smooth toe off. Uh, the rocker in the midsole mimics a, a rocking chair and it reduces the load on the feet and the ankles. So looking back from the Glide Ride 1 to the Glide Ride 2, the biggest improvement that ASICS has brought to this updated model would be uh, the upper. The shoe weighs in at 8.3 ounces for the women's version, 10.2 ounces for the men's version, uh, they have a stack height of 30 millimeter heel, 25 millimeter forefoot for the men's version, and the women's version is 31 millimeter heel and a 26 millimeter forefoot. Uh, both the men's and women's models both offer a five millimeter drop. The ASICS Glide Ride 2 will cost you roughly $150. Um, I think this is a pretty fair price considering all the technology, um, care, thought, and the durability that this shoe offers. Okay, so my first impressions of the ASICS Glide Ride 2. Uh, so when I opened the box, I was pretty surprised uh, by the big stack height. I mean, I knew it was going to uh, have a larger stack height, uh, but in person it just seemed a lot, a lot higher than what um, I'm currently used to. So putting them on for the first time, uh, it, it was definitely a tad weird. Um, I put them on and I, I rocked forward. Uh, they definitely, it, it doesn't matter wh what your stride is, what your stance, I mean, it is going to rock you forward. So the position of the rocker is um, placed in uh, the forefoot of the shoe. So this ca causes you um, to propel forward and have that rocking motion in the shoe. Uh, when I put them on for the first time and took them out for a long run, uh, my run was around um, 18 miles. Uh, the first, probably like half of my miles, so probably the first 10 miles, it was weird getting used to. Uh, but I eventually got warmed up in them and I really liked how this shoe just propelled my foot forward and it, it actually did make my longer run seem easier and I did notice myself going faster than I typically do for my uh, longer runs. The ASICS guide sole technology is what makes this line what it is. There's a plastic plate that runs the length of the guide sole to help create the forefoot rocker. The forefoot rocker is a toe spring and this helps to create a fast turnover and uh, this helps you uh, to move forward. Uh, the outsole of the shoe is made of a rubber called a Har Plus. The job of this is uh, supposed to improve the durability and extend, extend the lifetime of the shoe. Uh, the midsole of the shoe is made up of A6 Flight Foam, which is uh, a lightweight foam. So far, I have run probably over 250 miles in these shoes. I mean, there's a slight wear to them, I mean, but for that many miles in them, um, they almost look as, as if I just pulled them out of the box. Um, the durability is pretty phenomenal in these shoes. Looking at this shoe, uh, you would think that they are decently cushy, uh, but when I first put my foot in, uh, I noticed right away how firm they were, and they were not a max cushioned shoe. The cushioning is placed on the top layer of the midsole for a comfortable landing while the lower layer of the flight foam propel technology makes for more of a responsive feel. The shoe has 3D overlays for extra support in uh, the midfoot area, um, and I always like the 3D overlays rather than overlays that are stitched into the shoe. The tongue 
and uh, the collar of the shoe stay true to the ASICS brand. Uh, they are plush and padded, uh, but definitely not overdone, just, just right. The biggest change in this shoe from ASICS Glide Ride 1 to uh, this version of the ASICS Glide Ride 2, like I said before, is in the upper. So the upper is made out of an engineered mesh that adjusts to your foot. Um, so if you can see here, you can almost see the outline of my fingers. So when I would put my foot in, you could see the outline of my toes. Um, and it was, it was really comfortable. This mesh allowed uh, for my feet to swell and it wouldn't uh, make my feet feel trapped inside. And that, that, that was awesome because I l like to run, run the longer distances. And so by the end of my longer runs, my feet do tend to swell and this shoe accommodated that. I love the feeling of the updated upper of the shoe. I had plenty of room in my toe box area and uh, the updated mesh material had an elastic feel to it as well. Uh, the ASICS Glide Ride 2 fit true to size and I had no issues um, with them feeling um, too tight even if I wore uh, a slightly uh, thicker sock. My final thoughts on the ASICS Glide Ride 2 would be that I think they did a superb job on these. They are not going to be for everyone, but give them a chance and I promise you'll like your experience in them. The Glide Ride remains a fantastic option for anyone looking for a stable but fun ride. I will say that if you're looking for a daily trainer, that this shoe might be on the hefty side compared to other daily trainers, but it is a great choice if you want a daily trainer that will last for hundreds and hundreds of miles. If you liked my review on the ASICS Glide Ride 2, please hit like and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru. And if you want to read my full review, you can check that out on runningshoesguru.com.